Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call the Wild, and today we are going to do something that we have not done in a very long time. We are going to spend a day on Hirschfeld, and now, the last couple times I've done this, it yielded pretty much nothing. So I don't have super high hopes for today, but to make it a little bit interesting, I've decided to go with a loadout that I saw recently in the comment section of our last uh, special loadout video, and that is kind of like a western loadout. So, we've got the 4570, we've got the 3030, we have the... 44 Magnum and we also have the 10 gauge lever action shotgun so this should be at least an interesting and fun video and hopefully along the way we can find something of interest whether it be a diamond or a rare there's still quite a few diamonds and rares that I'd like to get off of Hirschfelden so I definitely wouldn't be uh, too upset if we found one of those especially if we find ourselves a rare fox or a rare bison that would be pretty awesome well, there's the first thing we end up finding, and that is a small red deer, but just to kind of see how the 4570 does, let's go ahead and take it out. It actually uh, looks like it might be bugged a little bit as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's just going to die right there, so that was a solo red deer. I don't see any others in the area, but we did manage to get a single lung, almost got double lung, so the 4570 should do pretty well on these guys at least at close range so I think these two might be spread far enough apart but we got ourselves a level 4 fallow deer at about 250 meters and we also got ourselves a little level 2 roe deer at about 168 I want to take this with the 3030 and then take the fallow deer with the 4570 and I think that'll probably be the way to do it but I need this guy to turn and we can't really do the 22 trick because we have the shotgun so we're just going to have to sneak up closer and hope that this can get a frontal shot. And in fact, you know, I bet it can. Let's just try it out and see how it does. If anything, this can be a test. Well, it worked. <laughs> I didn't think it would, though, because he put his head down right as I took the shot. And somehow it still dropped him. That's actually kind of impressive. So this guy's about 182 out, and I think once he sits up, we will take the shot. Although we could probably even hit that, and this would be kind of another interesting shot to take. Very similar to the last one where we took a shot that we typically wouldn't. Let's try to get this thing right now and see how it does. So I'd say we definitely hit vitals. And it is going to go down, and that is another fallow deer right there. We also have some more roe deer, so the fields are full of stuff today, uh, which is good for us because typically I don't see too much on Hirschfelden, but maybe I've just been hunting it wrong. Maybe I've been looking in the wrong places. So here's the roe deer, and we definitely got vitals. That's actually pretty impressive that the 3030 was able to do that. And because the 3030 is a 2-6 class weapon, it can take roe deer, it can even take the fox with absolutely no issues whatsoever, which is pretty awesome. So although it doesn't have as much range, it does have a pretty wide range of stuff that it can take. And then we all know the 4570 is a pretty good rifle when you get within that 150 meter range. And it took this fallow deer out pretty well. We got a single lung. Uh, that actually made it through quite a bit of flesh too to get to that lung. Uh, that is quite the interesting pose to die in. But not a bad fallow deer. 201 is pretty decent. Well, since we haven't tried it yet, let's go ahead and see if we can blast this fox as it's running away. And we definitely hit it, but I don't think it was a very good hit, so... Probably gonna take it a bit to go down, unfortunately. You know, it actually didn't run nearly as far as I was expecting it to, but because we didn't get vitals, we don't really get to test what I was trying to test there. And that was whether or not the 3030 would drop them on the spot or if they would run a little ways. I'm assuming they would drop on the spot. They don't seem like they'd be that strong, so... Well, this appears to be the only male European bison here, but since we haven't got a chance to take out bison, I think we gotta do it. We gotta take this guy out because we might not get to see another one. There we go. That seems to be a pretty decent shot. Let's make sure there's not anything too crazy that we missed out on. I think we are good. I think we spotted all of them. Uh, this guy's going to come over and say hello, though, so got to make sure we don't die to him. 
And that should be enough to take him down. And it doesn't even look... Actually, never mind, it was vital. So, we got him down in two hits. It probably would have took him down in one, but it was not a... Not exactly taking him down as fast as I would have liked. And yeah, single lung. So, you can't get double lung it looks like, but you can get a single lung. And then also, second shot was not that great. Second shot was way far back, unfortunately, but... We did get him down, and we ended up getting vitals. Well, that is a couple pretty nice wide fallow deer right there. Uh, the other one's kind of running off along with this one, but that is two really nice level 4 fallow, so we're probably going to try and wait for them to come back and then take them out, because they both look to be pretty decent. So I think we're going to end up taking down these fallow deer with the 30-30 instead of the 45-70, just to switch things up a little bit because we took the last one with the 4570 and it did pretty good. Let's see what the 3030 does. I'd like to take both of them so we might wait till the other one comes into view. But it honestly looks like this guy is not going to give us the chance to wait. So let's get up and take this guy down. And honestly that kills pretty slow but it'll take it down for sure. So definitely not the fastest killing gun against a fallow deer, but it still did the trick and got it down, and that is a 218, so even bigger than the last one that we killed. That was a double lung, so a double lung with the 3030 kills it about as quickly as a single lung with the 4570, it appears. Well, since these guys aren't running yet, I suppose we could take out one of these wild boar with the 44 Magnum. I decided to move over to single player so I could control the time, and unfortunately still not finding much, so we're just going to take out one of these if this one will give us a broadside shot. And then after that, we're going to go try and take down some geese. Because I think geese are going to be the best thing for the lever action 10 gauge shotgun because I uh, haven't really been finding too many rabbits, unfortunately, so we'll just go for a few geese and see if we can get any good ones. Oh, speaking of geese, there's actually a bunch of them above us. We should probably spot all these just to be sure. That's actually a pretty good four up front there. And yeah, it seems to be the only good one. There is another decent four right there, actually, so that one's got a really solid estimate. I don't know if we'll be able to kill it from here since we are quite a ways away from our blind, but, you know, we could probably hit that. And we hit it twice. Let's uh, see if it ends up going down. I suppose it could, so let's just hope it does. I mean, it's definitely going to die. It's at 0 to 25 now, and it just went down. So that's a pretty big goose right there. Let's hope that thing ends up being a level 4 diamond. But anyway, here is that wild boar that we took out and the 44 Magnum did its job right there. Honestly, it's a really good handgun. I don't use handguns a lot, but the 44 and the 454 are both pretty solid handguns. Unfortunately, the 357 and the 45 Colt just don't stack up against them. They're very underpowered compared to the 44 and the 454. And we just keep having tons of geese come in. I should probably get over to the goose blinds very, very soon. That was a level one male goose also. So yeah, let's go pick up that goose and then head over to the blind. But this is a pretty big goose and it's got a pretty good chance of being diamond. But unfortunately, it is on the lower end of that estimate, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. But I mean, it is what it is. And we finally have some geese coming in. This is the first flock that we have had since we got into the blind. And I did make one change to our loadout. I put away most of the guns except for the two 10 gauge uh, lever actions. And then I also picked up the Kuso Model 1897 since this is a Western style shotgun as well. So we've got uh, two different Western shotguns now. So we're going to see how they do on these geese. Uh, let's get them a little bit closer, and then once they get about to land, we'll get to blasting. And since I don't have the 22 with me for this, we're going to have to be very selective as to uh, what we shoot. So I'm going to be making sure that we get the right ones before we actually pull the trigger. 
and it actually looks like they are gonna come down right on top of us so we better get ready here we go uh oh that was almost bad almost bad And this last one's probably going to get away, but it's worth chucking a few shells downrange. But unfortunately, not able to connect. And as usual, I barely get done reloading and we already have another flock coming in. Let's uh, check out what's in this flock. So it looks like we got a bunch of pretty average sized geese. Yeah, nothing really too crazy. Now the question is, is there any rares? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it, but there is another flock over here. Yeah, that's... You know, that might be... That might be a melanistic. It's hard to tell. But uh, we'll definitely have to get that down. So I think I'm going to wait till these ones come in. Which means these ones will probably land. These geese have got incredibly close to us. A lot of them have already landed. This is actually kind of cool. We get to be up close and personal with these geese. So it doesn't look like any of them are anything too special, so let's just uh, start shooting them real quick and in fact, let's actually get out and run at them. Would help if my gun would shoot. There we go. You know, this might be the way to hunt them. This might be the way to do it. And I grabbed the wrong gun out. Okay, well, we got most of those at least. As that one falls. So uh, I guess we'll go through and pick them up. If there's anything good, I will show it to you guys. And that is the first good one, actually. 7.20 level 4 common feather type. Well, once again, it doesn't look like anything crazy in this flock, but we will go ahead and smoke as many of them as we can. We can turn around in time, and it looks like we got all of those. Now we just got a couple more from this flock, and then we should be good. And it looks like only one of them is going to get away, because there's no way I'm hitting that, I would say. Yeah, definitely not going to hit that. Well, another flock of nothing but small geese and commons, unfortunately, but we still got to get them down for respawns. The more we get down the better things will be in the long run for us. And of course I started shooting as another flock comes in and it actually has something a little bit more interesting. I don't think I can get him now. I don't think so. Nope, there's no way. So I might honestly fast travel and grab the 22 because I think that's a gray like I'm almost positive that is a gray goose and I don't want to let that guy go uh, unfortunately I just fast traveled while I was in the blind so now it's bugging out a little bit but we got to get this guy down we have to all right let's see if we can save this I think we can we just got to figure out which one's him oh it's definitely that one it's either gray or a brown hybrid I can't tell from here but uh, we just got it so we will get to take a closer look at it, but not how I wanted that to go. I didn't want to have to use the 22, but I didn't want it to escape. And we did manage to get it. And by the looks of it, it is just a brown hybrid level 3, so uh, nothing too special. But on the off chance it was a gray or something like that, I needed to get it down just to be sure. Oh my gosh, wait a second. So one of those that we shot was a bald leucistic, apparently. I don't even know which one it was. I thought all of those were commons, but that is a bald leucistic, so that's actually going to go in our lodge. Uh, the bald leucistic are pretty cool. I really want to find a big light gray leucistic, though, because I think that's my favorite plumage type for the geese. And we've only killed one. So I'd like to get some more of those, because I think the one that we did kill is just a female. And I'd like to get a really large male one. So hopefully we can find that eventually. But that's kind of cool. Bald leucistic. 
Another flock of geese, and as of now, I don't see anything that stands out about any of them. None of them seem to be rare, but uh, we saw what happened last time, so we will hold all judgment till we get them on the ground. And it kind of looks like they're going to land a bit farther away than I'd like. Uh, we got a couple somewhat close, but not nearly as close as I would like them. But, I mean, we can still get the job done, just, uh... Not as reliably, and we actually do have another flock coming through. As always, there's always a flock that decides to come through right as I'm blasting, and then I can't get them to come in because I end up spooking them off, and uh, once again, there's a pretty good one in there, so we gotta take that guy out with the 22 because he's not gonna come close enough for us to use anything else. Well, there is that level 4 that we took out. Let's hope that this ends up being over 8, and it is another 7.80. Which uh, seems to be what a lot of those 7 to 8 estimate 4s score, but uh, we got more coming in, so let's see what's in there. Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> There's a level 5. Um, we're pretty far away. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this out with a shotgun, unfortunately. Uh, we could try to, but I doubt it will work. But there's a diamond. There's a diamond goose. And yeah, there's no way we'll get that thing with... The shotgun so let's just try to take it out right now with the 22 and that will be it for that level 5 goose so that's pretty cool it sucks that we couldn't get close enough to take it out with the shotgun but we were away from our blind so not really any way we could have I wanted this video to be all Western style guns but I guess you got to do what you got to do sometimes for the diamonds and unfortunately that was just one of those scenarios where we couldn't really get back to our blind to take it out the way that I'd like to but it is what it is we still got ourselves a diamond goose and actually I've heard some people say that they control so I guess I won't call it a diamond yet because you never know but I think it's gonna be a diamond and it is at 8.60 what a beautiful goose that's gonna be another thing to go into our main lodge that is super awesome and I'd say that's a pretty good way to end things off. I really like the way that looks right there. That is an awesome spot to put that goose. I think that's definitely going to stay here. And it's kind of looking at that fox and almost like freaking out at the fact that it's taking down that rabbit. I think that looks pretty cool. That's definitely going to be the place that we leave that. Now, as for our diamond goose, I really don't know. I'm trying to look around the lodge and find some stuff that we can remove, but most of this stuff are ones that I'd prefer to leave here because they're either diamonds or rares. I know we've got a couple piebald ducks around the lodge somewhere, so we'll probably try to remove those. You know, I forgot that I had a place open right here. I don't even remember what I took down here. I feel like I might have accidentally deleted whatever trophy was here because I was deleting a bunch of random trophies that I didn't need anymore. And I have heard that there is a bug that sometimes makes it delete the wrong trophy. So I'm wondering if I accidentally deleted what was ever here. But uh, I guess either way, we have an open space now and we can go ahead and put this goose here right across from the biggest diamond goose that we've ever killed so uh, he's not gonna quite compare in size but that's still pretty cool and actually let's put them like that I think yeah that looks pretty good right there so I think we're gonna leave it like that probably permanently unless we get some better geese but for now that's looking pretty good but anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I apologize that we couldn't use the Western guns on that diamond, but sometimes you're just not able to, and that was one of those scenarios. At least we got that bald leucistic down with one of the lever action shotguns, so that's good at least. But uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell. If you guys enjoyed the content and want to see more also if you guys have any suggestions for loadouts for us to use be sure to leave a comment down below we are going to continue doing this series I've really been enjoying it and from what I've seen it seems like you guys enjoy it too so if you have a loadout that we could use whether it be like a loadout that used to be popular in like older times of call of the wild or just like a fun loadout let me know and I'll try to get to it in a video but with that being said thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!